Uh, joined here by Lieutenant Shields with the Harris County Sheriff's Office Violent Crimes Unit, and we have Sergeant Coker with uh, Precinct 3 uh, constables out here as well. Uh, uh, around uh, sometime around 8 p.m. this evening, uh, Precinct 3 deputies responded to a call for service out here at this location. Upon arrival, they discovered a juvenile male. Uh, we're told he's approximately 10 years old, uh, possibly soon to be 11 years old, uh, that had been wounded. Uh, due to gunfire. Uh, what we know so far is that apparently there was a large group of individuals, uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 persons that were out here in the parking lot behind us that got into a physical altercation. We don't know what led up to that altercation or what parties were involved. At some point, someone retrieved a pistol in the group and began firing several shots, uh, striking the juvenile male. We don't know if he was uh, an intended target or was just the person was just firing into the crowd. Again, there were a large number of, of persons here and everyone ended up fleeing the location. So that child, uh, again, 10 years old, has been uh, transported to the hospital. Uh, upon arrival, he was rushed into surgery because he's listed as in critical condition right now. So we're pulling for, for the young man to pull through. Uh, our prayers go out to him for, for a, a full recovery and, and, and hopefully he could pull through. But again, very uh, disturbing uh, situation out here. We've all been paying close attention to the number of uh, juvenile suspects and juvenile victims that we're seeing across our community. So it's really senseless and, and very disappointing. But we've got uh, the best in the business out here that are on it. You know, we're very closely with, with uh, Precinct 3 and, and they did a phenomenal job uh, with the initial scene and then of course with Lieutenant Shields have full confidence in him and his team. Uh, they get a lot of experience obviously working these cases on a regular basis but he's on it himself out here and his team and we're going to do everything possible to find out what happened but we do need the public's help. Again there were a lot of people out here. We have a 10 year old that's battling for his life so if you know something give us a call. You can call, call anonymously at Crime Stopper 713-222-TIPS at 713 713- 222-8477 uh, or you could uh, contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office and let us know but we need the public's help. Uh, this is inexcusable. We can get, have our, our children getting gunned down uh, for any reason uh, and so uh, we ask for our public's help. Um, any questions or anybody doing Spanish? Spanish. Okay, I'll do it briefly in Spanish. Esta noche aproximadamente las 8 p.m. en este complejo de este apartamentos Había un grupo uh, de aproximadamente 20 a 30 personas que estaban en este estacionamiento. Comenzaron a pelear, no sabemos el por qué. Alguien uh, sacó una pistola, por lo menos una persona, y comenzó a disparar uh, varios balazos. Y en el proceso hirió a un, uh, a un niño de solamente 10 años. Ese niño fue trasladado a un hospital y en este momento es un, está en una situación muy grave. Entonces estamos orando por él para que se pueda recuperar pero es algo muy problemático uh, que estamos viendo muchos adolescentes, muchos niños que están cometen, que cometiendo crímenes o son víctimas. Entonces necesitamos nuestro público que si vieron algo que lo <coughs> reporten, pueden reportarlo de una manera anónima al 713-222-8477. Estamos aquí con nuestros compañeros del precinto 3 uh, y también uh, el, el teniente Shields del, del departamento de, de la Guasil. Sheriff, are you guys able to count on any footage in the area, like have an idea of what happened? Are you guys able well, to? Well, we're, we're absolutely always going to work on that. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it just depends on the quality of the footage if we do find mm -hmm. some. And people have cell phones. A lot of it's recorded mm -hmm. on phones. And so we really depend on, on you all as our media partners to kind of get the message out. Uh, with th these type of situations, somebody knows something. There, again, there was a large group. Do the right thing. This could have been your child. You know, we don't know. We don't, obviously there was some type of altercation. We just want to know what happened. Mm -hmm. Just come out and say what happened, and and, and come forward, and and uh, let's get this resolved. But we can't have people shooting innocent young kids for any reason, mm -hmm. uh, no matter what. And and it's up to the adults too not to have them in a situation where they're out here fighting over stuff. Mm -hmm. And you've got kids. We saw recently again Lieutenant Shields' team was working on the scene in Northwest Harris County. I think where a three-year-old got shot. In, in a crossfire uh, in some type of, of possible, well, I think it was a drug deal gone bad. And so it's senseless and people need to do better. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. All right, friends, this is Grizzy reporting live here in 
northeast uh, east harris county area this is ce king i was out here just earlier this is the ce king tidwell area uh precinct three constable deputies along with hcso deputies we just heard from our sheriff ed gonzalez right now he's out here middle of the night you know coming to talk to us to tell us uh, about what happened out here tonight friends so there was a shooting i told you guys earlier i was out here um one of our hood news peeps this is one this, we have hood news peeps this little boy is related to our hood news peeps this is their nephew their grandson you know their loved one and and he was out here there was a huge fight and 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 he was off to the side and and he was an innocent bystander he was not involved in the actual fighting or anything like that and 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 he got shot just sad and and please keep him in your prayers he's listed critical condition you know undergoing surgery and all that stuff please keep this little boy in your prayers thank you heather yeah so we got crime scene units here they just left already oh yeah they already left and then we have we had uh the detectives are out here too so crime scene already left i don't know if y'all caught the last video they pulled up when we were out here this is over at the Virio apartments. I, I want to say the 12, 200 block of Tidwell, right off of C.E. King. Esto se pone muy difícil. Había una pelea. Hubo una pelea bien grande aquí entre gente, varias personas. Y había un niño de 10 años. Y él recibió un balazo. Creo que dos. No estoy segura. <coughs> Y, y el niño lo transportaron al hospital en, en grave condición. Por favor, uh, hagan oraciones por él, por su familia, y que el responsable, pues, que hay en, que hay en el responsable. Thank you, friends. Hey, thank you, Heather, friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, friend. So, yeah, man, just tragedy strikes tonight, man. We just left in France. Like, I just, after this, I, I came out here first. Then I went to Fifth Ward where four people were shot. One of them's deceased. A woman is deceased. And that's off of Love Street, Abernathy, and I forgot what other street, in Fifth Ward. Right off of, uh, like, I-10 uh, Waco area, if that makes any familiar to anybody. And, and we just left that. And then there's this shooting. Like, what's going on? And what we're seeing a lot of, we're seeing a lot of child victims. We're seeing child victims and child suspects. Not cool. Man, prayer's going up for this baby boy, man. 10 years old. About to be 11. And, and now he's got these severe injuries, you know prayers for the family that's a lot of recovery so we're gonna claim it you know that he's gonna recover and everything like we're praying grizzly hood news how are you doing sir okay, you know, okay. okay all right no problem uh oh this guy ran us off all right friends my goodness mm. well he missed all the other lives so we we're, we're gonna go ahead and dip out friends we got somebody running us off the property Oh my goodness, where's Zach? Oh, he's telling. Look at this guy, friends. They don't want bad publicity. They don't want that bad publicity. Mm. Mm. Jesus. This this dude is standing on business. Está chiquito, pero chiludo, man. <laughs> hey, man. Anyways, friends, look, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. It's your girl Grizzy shooting here at the 12200 block of Tidwell near C.E. King. No, he's just running everybody off, friends. Like, that's just short, little and spicy, baby. That's it. That's it, man. He's doing his job. I ain't mad at him. Whatever. He's, he, they, don't want, they don't want the Virio apartments to look bad. But, all right, friends, reporting live. It's your girl Grizzy. Back to you, friends. That's, oh, they said that's the maintenance man. What, baby? That's not his pay grade, baby. Like they, they, they man, they must giving him a bonus or something to run people. <laughs> Look at Zach attack. We, we got ran out. Let him think he's exercising some power. All right, friends, let me go. Let me go because I already cussed out enough people today. I'm trying to work on my little temper. 
Let, let me let me get ghost. All right, friends. Bye.